Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are Ephesians 4, verses 21 through 24. In third grade, my class had a science project of raising and releasing these butterflies. We got them as caterpillars, and they had these green, black, and white bands on their body. And uh, they crawled around on their feet, and they ate all these leaves for food. And then later we watched them develop into these cocoons, and we waited patiently for them to hatch. After about two weeks of waiting, we watched as their cocoons began to shake, and one by one, these beautiful butterflies emerged. We placed them in the sunlight, and they began to unfold their wrinkled wings so that they could stiffen in the sunlight. And after they were all ready, we then released them outdoors so that they could fly away to feed in the nearby field of wildflowers. If any of them had returned to acting like a caterpillar, crawling on the ground and eating leaves, <laughs> we would have thought that they were either stupid or dying as they failed to live as new creations, different from what they were before. And as Christians, it can sometimes be so easy to forget that we are new creations, that God does something powerful in our lives and changes us into something new, but we quickly find ourselves falling back into these old, comfortable habits. Ephesians chapter 4 uh, verse 21 says this, Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Today, my encouragement for you is to remember that you are a new creation. That the old you is dead and gone, and the new you is now here with a new purpose for your life and a new way of living. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.